So the thing is, like, we are in Eastport, Germany. I'm Portuguese living in South Africa. These guys from Marseille. <laughs> you both from We're the so Bronx, New York. Crazy. But we're all in Germany for something. So why are you guys in Germany? I know that you guys had a video, a super special video that will come out soon. But... Yeah. Three, two, one. We're good to go. On YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a wheel addict. You know these two? Well, these two are youth heroes. John Ortiz, Ray Mendez, both legends from New York. They are here in Munich for the ESPO, but they are here with a really special project. Yeah. But I'm not going to explain the project. I'm going to leave it to these two legends to explain the project. So the first thing, you're going to see another legend. Let's call some other legend to see what they do. You want to call them? Yeah. We're going to put in a call right now to uh, Abdiel Goldberg, who's back in New York City uh, running one of the skate classes that we have in one of our schools. So we're going to get him on the line. And while we do that, I'm going to make a little Instagram video. We're just all about multimedia, you know. So uh, <laughs> skaters are uh, filmmakers and photographers, and <laughs> we're all creative types, right? So I'm going to do, yo, what's up, Ricardo? <laughs> I'm making my yeah, Instagram yeah. video. Yeah, if you want to see this one, you need to go. Where do they need to go to see that one? So they can go to my Instagram or they could go to the Go Sports, uh, Go Sports USA Instagram. Okay. So check it out. So we got Abdel Goldberg. Well, that's actually Jesus that's Medina. Medina. Yo, Jesus Medina. Yo. Yeah, they can talk. Go for it. Yo, you want to say hello? What's up, fellas? Speak to the mic. <laughs> Abdel Goldberg in the house. We're gonna rap or what? <laughs> yeah, no, I think I think what he's gonna do is he's gonna get the class's attention so that they know to say hello to us. Yeah, Abdul, yeah. let's see some kids, man. <laughs> Where are the kids at? Where are the kids? We don't wanna see your ugly face. Oh, there we go. Yay. Yeah. So why don't you tell yeah. a little about so this? So this is one of our uh, skate classes that we have. Let's put some focus there. And this is actually a class that's in the Bronx. Um, this is a program that we do called Eye to Eye, Inline to Ice. And it's really trying to address uh, the gap between the inline skate community and the ice skating community, right? So Let's just say thank you to Abdil. Thank you, Abdil. Thank you. <laughs> Yo, thank you, brother. Yo, we'll talk to you later. Say what's Yo, up, what's thank up, you. Up. Thank you so much, Abdul. Yeah. <laughs> Keep doing that thing. We all love you for that Cheers, and for everything brother. else. Cheers. Love thank you. you. And the cool thing about this program, Ricardo, is that we run this program Monday through Friday, like every day of the week in the school. Uh, it's in the middle of the school day, so it's embedded in the actual curriculum of the school day. So it's not an after school program, right? It's like right smack dab in the middle of the school day. We run three classes a day, 15 classes a week. With that one program, we reach 500 kids a week. Wait, and you guys been the school, like the best school in USA. Were you guys like, did someone voted or anything like that? How did you guys rate it? Oh, no, 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 we just, we, we're uh, just working at the largest, uh, you know, thankfully, we have great partners and we're working right now at the largest capacity. I mean, we're, every week we average, you know, depending on the programming, uh, six to 700 kids a week uh, with the programs that we're running. So we're working at very high volume. Yeah, I mean, the main reason we started the company is we just want to create new skaters. I mean, me and Ray have been skating 25 years. You've been skating forever. And it's like we want to keep it going. So the best way that we figure is to just teach kids from the beginning. I mean, we don't necessarily start with aggressive or anything. We teach them the basics, how to fall, how we, to get we, up. We cannot skate them, teach them aggressive at first because that's like a barrier somehow. Yeah, Wait, but there's someone else that needs to jump in the train right Absolutely. now, right? And I want to introduce him. So, so yes, we have the programming going in New York, but like something that we're working on right now that we're very passionate about is a project that we're doing from the Bronx to Marseille. And we're working with a legend from Marseille, France, Kevin Quinton, who is, you know, He's basically yeah. the best yeah, yeah, yeah. bull rider in the whole, ro the whole world. So, yeah, and wait, check, wait, wait, check this shirt. And he's also world champion of roller, <laughs> roller <laughs> soccer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hi, roller everyone. <laughs> so, Kevin, t tell him a little bit about um, from the Bronx to Marseille. So, yeah, the, the thing is uh, we're working uh, on a project since a year with uh, Ray and John, with Go Sports and, and my association, point, point 13. I say it in French, point 13. And uh, the thing we want to do is to make this real uh, cultural exchange between our kids from Marseille and the kids from the Bronx. We are working with kids that I would say are in difficulty, kind of, you know, and our goal is to make them, to push them to get access to, 
to activities in life and skating is the tools we are using it's because yeah. because we we'll, we are skaters we love skating and this is the area we're from and without skating we we may never had the chance to meet each other because we know That's each other since same. over 20 years yeah. and skating made that happen so yeah. We're on the way now to make it happen for, for the youth and the kids we work with. And we know, we all know that, we all know our, skate can, our skating can help people to stay out of the shit. Yeah, true. So, true. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it kept us all out of trouble. We still got in trouble here and there. <laughs> we, we won't talk about that. We won't talk about that. Ricardo, the one thing that I wanted to share with you guys is that, you know, we're like doing this project. Uh, we've gone to Marseille. Kevin came to New York. So the other day we're standing in the classroom uh, with Kevin and like I'm talking to the class and I like stopped and it hit me and I'm like I'm like wait a minute guys like you don't understand like we've known Kevin since he was your age like that's how long we've known him we've traveled that's around true. the world and we've had all these great experiences and we're like brothers and so that's how uh, you know really passionate we are about this project and how important we really feel that it is okay, so wait but we are in Ispo Germany so yeah. let's let's put it in context yeah. so the thing is like we are in Ispo Germany I'm Portuguese living in South Africa, these guys from Marseille, you both from the Bronx, New York, but we're all in Germany for something. So why are you guys in Germany? I know that you guys had a video, a super special video that will come out soon, but why are you guys in Germany? Well, really to raise awareness, right? Like just like we're sharing this with you, we want to share it with the brands. We're looking for uh, partners. We, you know, we need to make this thing happen, right? It's a really incredible project. It has a lot of layers. Uh, but we need some support, right? So uh, we're going to be sharing all that stuff via our channels and websites and all that kind of stuff. We're going to have a crowdfunding platform. Uh, but we're here to raise awareness and to hopefully get some support from the industry. Yeah. Perfect. How can I help? You can help because you're masterful at this and content is very, very important. So uh, thank you for doing it, first of all. And you're already helping by uh, having us on so camera and sharing. people doing what I do, if they help sharing your project, they are yeah, helping it's too. It's important to help and to show and to, and to share as well because skating is a passion and when you love something, you have to share it. And we've been doing that since so long that we didn't wait for that to, to share with the kids and even other people with, through our schools. But now we want to make something a bit extra and more across the sea and across what the I, world. What I keep saying is like, I had this conversation with... John Ortiz yesterday, which is like, most of the people, they stay in that cloud, which is there's no money in skating. I'm sorry, guys, I need to tell you, you are all wrong. Like, you're wrong. That's it. Use your creativity, and if you really, truly are passionate about something, you'll be able to live from yeah. this. I don't know if you're able to see all these guys around this booth, but there's like around 20 to 30 people around this booth, and there have been more than 20 guys here today all these guys that i'm talking about they all live from skating so yes it's possible maybe if you smoke joints all day and just drink beers and don't do anything else other than that don't even yeah. skate as a pro <laughs> skater that's not gonna happen but if yeah. you do other things like i'm not telling you not to do it i'm not your father but no you're 100 percent right i mean if you get creative you can figure it out but like the most important thing for me is if you give, you're going to get back. And the main focus for us is to teach the kids because we want these kids to have an opportunity to find what they love in life. I mean, whether they become skaters forever or not, through skating, they're going to learn that there's a passion. There's something that they can follow and they can be whatever they want. Lawyers, doctors, I don't care. But as long as they find that passion through skating the way we did and now we have the life we have, I want those kids to have that opportunity. There's something really important that we spoke today. We were speaking about the lesson that skating can be for life. You want to explain that? Because like, we all fall, but what, what, what do we all do after falling? I mean, the, you know, the, the beautiful thing about skating is that it, 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 there's so much more to it than just the activity. Yes, skating is fun. We love it as an activity. But there's community. There's so much more behind it. And like, you know, like, like us, right? Like I... I learned how to be a creative professional because I was a skater first, right? And I tell people that all the time. It's like, yes, I'm all these things. Like, I do all these different things. But if it wasn't for skating, I would have never found that path, right? And so that's why we're so passionate about this. really about providing an experience, an experience that can open the kids' eyes and really create, like, a, a whole new life path for them. Preach.
Church. <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice one. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> what else to say? There's nothing yeah, else to say. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I know what to say. Check out from the Bronx of Marseille. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm from the Bronx, but I can't rap, but I made that up. Nice. But it works, it works. Like, uh, for me, it works for sure. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this. If this is the first video that you're watching, maybe there's a little button that you need to click. It's the subscribe button. And then there's like a little bell on the side. If you click on that bell, every time that I upload something about these or anything else, yeah, <laughs> you'll get notifications on your phone, your email, whatever. Anyway, what I keep saying every single video is just don't forget why we all started skating. And that is because it's fun. Cheers, guys, and see you soon. Peace. <laughs> choo choo. Woo! Poof.